Rather than thinking of individual muscles that are each separate in your body, the latest research teaches us that more important to our health is fascia. To illustrate this, think of a pair of pajamas with feet and a hood. These feety pajamas as fascia is just an outside look. In reality, fascia is the connective tissue around everything, every organ, every tendon, every ligament, every muscle, every muscle cell. It's like a spider's web inside your body that connects everything to everything. So let's think about having an injury or if muscles are chronically tight. Imagine what happens to our fascia if our shoulders are super tight. See how the neck, the arm, and even the chest are affected? What if you had surgery in your belly? Some people develop scar tissue that can affect the pelvis, the digestive system, even the rib cage. Over time, the effects of having scar tissue like this can change your posture, cause bladder problems, even shoulder problems. And now let's think about breast cancer surgery. First, there's a shock of diagnosis. That can cause some tightening around the shoulder, then the biopsy, surgery, radiation. The entire shoulder area and chest can become affected and constricted. And there's a natural inclination to protect that area. Some people develop scar tissue more than others, so this can further contribute to the tightness. Scar tissue can grow over time, creating a sort of beaver dam, which makes it hard for lymph to move through this thus increasing your risk of lymphedema. It is crucial to get the range of motion back in your shoulder, normalize the fascia in that area. Exercise, stretching, and or massage can accomplish this. Fascia is incredibly resilient tissue.